What's the current state of HIV cure research? Has science come any closer to finding a cure? Today, these questions remain at the forefront of medical research. This year, the pursuit for a definitive solution to HIV continues to be one of the most formidable challenges in the field of medicine. The transformation of HIV infection from a fatal diagnosis to a manageable chronic illness, thanks to antiretroviral therapy, is a testament to the significant strides made in this arena. Yet the quest for a complete cure continues. The bright beacon in this journey is the recent breakthroughs in HIV cure research and drug development, offering a glimmer of hope for a lasting resolution. The research is primarily focused on sustained viral remission or eradication. While a functional cure aims to control the virus without ongoing antiretroviral treatment, eradication means completely ridding the body of the virus. Let's delve deeper into the strategies being employed in the search for a cure. One promising strategy in HIV cure research is the shock and kill approach. This innovative tactic aims to tackle HIV's greatest weapon, its ability to hide in latent cells. The virus cleverly embeds itself into these cells, lying dormant and undetectable by our current antiretroviral drugs. The shock and kill strategy, however, is designed to shake things up. It first shocks these latent cells, waking up the hidden HIV and forcing it out into the open. Once exposed, the virus is then killed, targeted for elimination by the immune system or other therapeutic agents. It's a bit like flushing out a fugitive from their hiding place and then capturing them. To date, initial studies have shown some success with this approach, notably in reducing the size of the viral reservoir. That's a significant step forward, akin to shrinking the size of the battlefield. However, the jury is still out on whether the shock and kill strategy can achieve a functional cure, that is, controlling the virus without the need for ongoing antiretroviral treatment. As with any new medical strategy, the road to success is filled with hurdles. While the shock and kill approach has shown promise, it is not without its challenges. There are still many questions that need to be answered and more research is urgently needed to fully evaluate its effectiveness. But one thing is certain, the shock and kill approach is a beacon of hope in the ongoing quest for an HIV cure. While promising, the shock and kill approach still needs further research to fully evaluate its effectiveness. Another potential game changer in HIV cure research is gene editing. This innovative approach involves manipulating the DNA of HIV-infected cells, either to make them resistant to the virus or to remove the virus from the genome entirely. To understand how this works, let's delve into the basics. Gene editing technologies like CRISPR-Cas9 act like molecular scissors, cutting and altering the DNA sequences in our cells. In the context of HIV, these tools could be used to excise the viral DNA from the host cell's genome, effectively erasing the virus from the cell. Alternatively, they could be used to modify the host cell's DNA to make it resistant to HIV infection, preventing the virus from entering the cell in the first place. Recent research has shown that gene editing can indeed be effective against HIV. For instance, EBT101, a gene editing technique, has been tested in human trials and shown to be safe. However, as promising as these results are, we must remember that gene editing is still a relatively new field. There are concerns about the long-term safety and efficacy of these approaches. Unintended edits to the genome could potentially have harmful effects, and we still don't know how long the effects of gene editing will last in the context of HIV. Despite these challenges, the future of gene editing in HIV cure research looks bright. Numerous studies are underway, each one getting us closer to understanding the full potential of this approach. Gene editing holds great promise, but safety and efficacy concerns necessitate further investigation. Harnessing the body's own defenses is another strategy being explored in HIV cure research. Immune-based therapies are designed to bolster the body's natural immune response, essentially turning the body itself into a weapon against the virus. At the forefront of this field, we find 
therapeutic vaccines. Unlike traditional vaccines, which prevent diseases, therapeutic vaccines are designed to treat them. In the context of HIV, these vaccines aim to boost the body's immune responses against the virus. They work by teaching the immune system how to identify and attack HIV-infected cells. Several therapeutic vaccine candidates are currently going through clinical trials with researchers optimistic about their potential to control the virus. Another key player in immune-based therapies is immune checkpoint inhibitors. These are drugs that unleash the full power of the immune system. Normally, our immune system has built-in breaks to prevent it from attacking our own cells. HIV, however, can hide behind these breaks. Immune checkpoint inhibitors work by removing these breaks, allowing the immune system to recognize and destroy HIV-infected cells. Early trials of immune checkpoint inhibitors have shown promising results, but there's still a long road ahead. Researchers are hard at work finding ways to optimize these approaches and minimize potential side effects. Another potential immune-based strategy is the use of broadly neutralizing antibodies. These are special antibodies that can recognize and neutralize a wide range of HIV strains. Clinical trials are currently underway to evaluate the effectiveness of these antibodies in controlling viral replication and reducing the viral reservoir. In summary, immune-based therapies are a promising area of HIV cure research. By harnessing the power of the immune system, scientists hope to develop treatments that can control or even eradicate HIV. While still in the early stages, immune-based therapies offer a promising avenue for HIV cure research. In the quest for an HIV cure, researchers are leaving no stone unturned. From the exciting prospect of shocking latent HIV-infected cells into action, then eliminating them, to the tantalizing potential of gene editing technologies like CRISPR-Cas9 that could alter the DNA of infected cells, the strides being made are truly remarkable. The exploration into immune-based therapies, including therapeutic vaccines and immune checkpoint inhibitors, further underscores the relentless pursuit of a solution. These strategies have shown promising results, but there is still much work to be done. Clinical trials continue, safety and efficacy are scrutinized, and as we delve deeper into the realm of possibilities, we inch closer to finding a functional cure or even complete eradication of the virus. With ongoing research and advancements in technology, the hope for an HIV cure remains alive and stronger than ever. The journey continues. And with each step, we move closer to turning the dream of an HIV cure into reality.